I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some knowledge based questions on polynomials. This will give you a quick review on polynomials, especially when we are dealing with division, remainder theorem, and factor theorem. The first question is if f of minus 5 equals to 0, state the factor of f of x. Second one is if 2.5 equals to 0, state the factor of f of x with integral coefficients. Third one is determine if x plus 1 is a factor of g of x equals 2 x to the power of 4 minus 2x square plus 3x plus 4. And the last question here is find the remainder for x cubed minus 2x square plus 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. So these are knowledge based questions which are normally there in the test paper in your first 10 questions, right? So I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then move on. You can also look into my suggestions. Here is my suggestion. If f of minus 5 is equal to 0, that means minus 5 is a part of 0, right? So that means the factor should be x plus 5, correct? Now if I put x equals to minus 5, then anything it will become 0 anything multiplied by 0 will be a 0 right so then you get the value as 0 so if f of minus 5 equals to 0 then the factor is x plus 5 the second one is if f of 2.5 is 0 so 2.5 is 2 and a half which is 5 over 2 correct so here the factor will be x minus so we are saying 2 and a half which is it is two and a half or five over two. So we could write five over two, right? But we need to write as integral coefficients. Do you see that? And therefore, this factor should be written as two x minus five. And that's what we mean, right? I hope this concept is clear. The next one is determine if x plus one is a factor of g of x. It is going to be a factor of g of x if g of minus 1 is 0, right? So that makes this 0, minus 1. So we have to replace x with minus 1 and check it out. So minus 1 to the power of 4, 2 times minus 1 square plus 3 times minus 1 plus 4, right? That gives us, this one is positive 1, this one is positive times negative 2, okay? 3 is negative here, plus 4, right? So we have plus 4. 5 and minus 5 which gives us 0 and therefore the answer is yes it is a factor since g of minus 1 is indeed 0. Now the question is find the remainder for x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. To find the remainder what you have to do substitute minus 2 in this case right the value which makes it 0 important. So just put minus 2 for x and calculate. So we have, now you're, you can use your calculator to calculate all these questions, correct? So minus 2 cube is minus 8, minus 2 squared is 4 plus 4 times 2 is again 8 with a minus sign, 3 times 2 is 6 with a minus sign plus 1, correct? So minus 8, minus 8 is minus 16 and minus 16 minus 6 is minus 22 plus 1 is minus 21. So that is our answer. So I hope with this you are kind of geared up to take up some challenging questions on polynomials. So look into the following videos and answer those questions. Thank you and all the best.